Hello everyone. Welcome to Wise Monkeys. We are here to start with the series of UTC NET examination. Let me brief you what do we mean by UTC NET. UTC NET is University Grant Commission National Eligibility Test. It is conducted in order to select candidates for only assistant professor or for both assistant professor and junior research fellowship in Indian universities and colleges. From this year onwards, that is December 2018, examination will be conducted by MD, and this examination will be conducted in online mode. So let us understand what is the OGC net exam pattern. This exam consists of two papers. One paper number one, which is general aptitude test. It will be consisting of 50 questions and you are supposed to attempt all the 50 questions and each question carries 2 marks so this paper will be comprising of 100 marks and duration for this paper is 1 hour and paper 2 which will be based on your subject which you have chosen and it will be consisting of 100 questions all questions will be compulsory each question carries 2 marks so total marks will be 200 and its duration will be 2 hours. So total in all you have to attempt 150 questions. So total marks will be 350 and it will be duration will be for 3 hours. So let us understand what paper 1 comprises of. So in paper 1 there will be total 10 sections and in each section if there will be 5 questions and each uh, question carries 2 marks, so total we have to attempt 50 questions. So let us understand which are those 10 sections. Section number 1 is teaching aptitude, where they are going to check about your teaching skills. Research aptitude, where they are going to check about your research aptitude, how much you are keen to do research. Reading comprehension, in which your English is comprehension will be checked, communication in which communication skills will be checked, reasoning, reasoning will be based on two, two parts, one will be mathematical reasoning and second will be logical reasoning. In logical reasoning there might be few assertions also which are being asked several times. Data interpretation, we might have seen in two various examinations that data interpretation is very very important. Data interpretation is like a part of our statistics where our data interpretation skills are being tested. Information and communication technology. In today's world, we can't survive without information and communication technology. So that part is very, very important. People and environment and higher education system, governance, quality and administration. All these topics have been covered. Let us now understand, uh, we as advice companies, we are going to cover paper 2 for computer science and applications. Let us understand which are the subjects into which we are going to cover this or what is the exam pattern for paper 2 in UGC net for computer science and applications. So these are the subjects onto which they ask questions. First is discrete mathematics which is very very important subject. Sometimes few people they get confused that questions have come from data structures but in reality all those come from discrete mathematics. Second is digital logic design. You might have studied about digital logic. So all those concepts related to computer arithmetic, flip flops all will come here. Then programming in C, C++ and Java. Java is not only for Java but it also consists of your applets and servlets. Again it consists of very important subject RDBMS and SQL. SQL being it consists of your queries also, data structures, file structures, computer networks, theory of computation, compiler construction. When we talk about operating system, operating system mainly focuses on to process scheduling, disk scheduling, memory management. 
the Unix operating system which is very important and has been asked in all the papers. Software engineering, parallel computing, mobile computing, e-technologies. When we talk about parallel computing, mobile computing and e-technologies, only one question comes from these topics. Each from these topics that is parallel computing, mobile computing and e-technologies. Then we have Windows programming, microprocessor 8085 and 8086. From last three years, we have seen that 8086 is having more focus, but in previous years, 8085 was asked for. And in DBMS, one more subject is there that is called as ADBMS or Advanced Database Management System in which we get the questions based on two parallel and distributed databases, computer graphics, principles of programming, Prolo, analysis of algorithms. This is again a very important topic, analysis of algorithms. A lot of questions come on to it. Object-oriented programming. Sometimes we get confused with this subject also. We consider C++ as object-oriented programming. C++ is a language which is based on two object-oriented programming. So first we have to learn object-oriented programming concepts. Then we can apply it to any language. So it is related to that. Object-oriented design and modeling where we have to learn about the various Diagrams, all those questions have been also asked. Artificial intelligence, which also covers fuzzy, uh, fuzzy systems and neural networks, decision support systems, data warehousing and mining, data communication, image processing, and one other important subject is operations research. So here we are going to cover all these subjects for you and if you have any suggestions to us which subject we start with, give us your suggestions, your suggestions are welcome, then we will start with those subjects very soon. Thank you.